most guns that are stolen in the U.S. are stolen out of people's cars. Uh, guns being stolen out of cars is at an alarming rate and the thing is is it's a foolish way to have your gun stolen. If your gun's stolen out of your car you really have no one to blame but yourself. Um, and deep down I think you know that to be true. So what I will say is I do understand that there's times uh, when you have to leave your gun in your car but I have a general rule. Either a gun should be on you or it should be locked away in a safe. Uh, those are the only two places you should ever leave your gun. Uh, but I do understand that there's times that you have a gun on you and you have to go into a place that you can't have your gun on you. So you have to leave it in your car. So uh, what I'll say starting with what not to do is don't leave it unsecured in your vehicle. Definitely don't leave it in within view either. But even if you hide it, don't leave it unsecured. So let's just start with never leave your gun unsecured in your car and definitely don't ever leave it within view because if somebody sees that there's a gun in your car, it doesn't matter how secure you have it, they're going to do everything within their power to get that gun out. So with that being said, here's the three ways that I recommend that you store a gun in your car. Now I'm going to start with the one that I recommend the least and then we'll end with the one that I recommend the most. At the very least, secure it in a locked glove box and make sure that that glove box is very secure, uh, meaning you couldn't pry it open. There's some glove boxes that are much easier to get into than others. But at the very least, lock it in the glove box, at the very least. That way at least it's not within view. And it is locked and secured. So not only will somebody have to break into your car, but then they're going to have to break into your glove box as well. And again, I, I recommend this the least. But if you're in a position where you can't put it anywhere else, because I drive a truck, I don't have a trunk. Uh, so that would be, it would have to go in there uh, unless I do some of these other options we're about to talk about. All right, number two, locked away in an electronically disconnected trunk. Now what I mean by that is you have electronically disconnected all access to that trunk, meaning you can't push a button from inside the car and open it. Uh, the only way to get it open is with a physical key. Uh, it's a great way to really secure anything, to be quite honest. I've always liked the idea of just electronically disconnecting that trunk. Uh, because, again, even if they broke your window and got into your car, there's no way that they can get into your trunk. Uh, so I definitely recommend, if you're going to leave it in your trunk, that you will have that trunk electronically disconnected. You can take it to your mechanic and have it done. It's not really that big of a deal. Police cars do that all the time. If you go and you buy a used police car, its trunk is going to be electronically disconnected. Um, and there's a reason why they do that, because there's only one way in, and that's with the key itself. So if you're going to leave anything secured in a trunk, electronically disconnected. Otherwise, all they got to do is break your window and push a little button, and they're in. You de and then that, again, is not secure at all. And then finally, number three is the one that I highly recommend is have a safe bolted to steel locked away in an electronically disconnected trunk. This is by far the best way because one, they're not, they're not going to get in your trunk. But if they do, uh, it is then secured in a safe. Uh, now, the safe that we have in my wife's car's trunk is a Mac safe. It's a two-gun vault. I'll put the link for that below. Uh, but there's all sorts of safes that you can purchase, and but have them bolted to steel in an electronically disconnected trunk that only opens with a key. Uh, if you're doing that, I don't know how somebody's going to steal a gun from you. Or, you know, I guess in the end, if somebody really wants something, they'll probably get it. But my goodness. Uh, it's, they're going to have to work really hard, really, really hard if it's locked away in an electronically disconnected trunk and it's within a safe that is bolted to steel. Um, that's my number one way. I highly recommend that one. If you do that, 
uh, nobody's ever going to get your gun. It's definitely going to be secure and you can have great comfort in knowing that to be true. So uh, there you go. Uh, again, I started with the one I least likely to recommend, but it's better than nothing. Uh, let's just start there. So uh, any thoughts or insight on any of that, definitely put that in the comments below. Uh, love to hear if you have any other ideas. Uh, put that there as well. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. If you feel called to support this channel to Patreon, that link is also below. But the most important part of this channel, we take prayer requests. So please don't ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, love guns.